Hi, welcome to Robojax. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can use this DH11 or DH22 humidity and temperature sensor with TM1637 display to display the temperature and also control an AC load like a bulb, like a heater or a fan with an, a relay using Arduino. For example, now it's set that at 50 degrees, the let's say this is a fan or a heater will turn on when the temperature reaches 50. So pay attention. So when it reaches 50, the light is on. When it goes below that, the light will be off. So this can be used for a heater to control a temperature of a liquid or a environment or it could be a fan to cool down something. When the temperature reaches below 50, the light should turn off. The code for this project will be available by clicking at the link at the description which will take you to uh, robojax.com slash learn slash Arduino. I have separate videos explaining this display fully if you want to customize it more in deep and also have separate videos for these two items separate video for relay but this one is combined all of those so you can just plug in the code understand it and use it so dh dh11 has uh, three pens here the positive the negative and the output the same way dh 22 has the same pin so there is no difference so this is positive this is negative this is the data out for communication so this uh, this is connected to 5 volts the negative is connected to the ground and the middle one is uh, connected to the pin 9 of Arduino here at pin 9 so either you use this module or the other one doesn't matter just connect it there so this has uh, the TM1637 has four pins. So ground VCC, VCC goes to five volts, ground goes to the ground. And then we have DIO and clock. The clock, which is here like orange color, is connected to pin two here. And then we have DIO is connected to pin three. So let me explain the AC bulb here. So this is a table light that is connected to the wall outlet and then the wire goes and will be turned on but i have disconnected one of these two wires here so let me show you so i've just cut this wire from here now this can be connected to the uh, relay the relay job is to just connect it so it will be on and disconnected will be off. I've just twisted them and then put some solder so this can be inserted into a uh, connector with a screw. Now I have connected the AC wires between the common and normally open NO. So relay has three pins, VCC goes to five volts, this pin, and then the ground, the middle one goes to the ground. And the last one is N, which the signal comes and turns the um, relay on to control the load. This also has two LEDs. So this is a power LED. Once you connect it to the power, this should be always on. This is the signal LED. When the command comes to turn the relay on, this will be turned on. On this side, we have two pins that the two wires from AC load is connected to the two last on this side which is normally open NO to these two. The input pin of the relay is connected to pin 7 here at the pin 7 that's the orange color for this uh, for the relay. So to get the power I've connected two wires here green and red one is connected to 5 volts the other one is connected to the ground and I've connected them here so I've connected them here my breadboard has a blue is on the other side so I use it for ground maybe yours is on this side but doesn't matter on the blue side I've connected the ground 
which uh, which goes also for the relay, also goes for the uh, temperature sensor, and also goes for the display. Three of those, and then on this side is the five volts. So I've also connected. There are four devices of five volts in here. separate video that explains the display but uh, uh, you need to install the library for this one which the link will be provided when you go to the visit our website so you have to uh, add the library for this one and also we have another library uh, for the DHT uh, sensor so I've separated the course so you know from here to here that says start of TM1637 end of 1637 so this is needed for the display so this is the main library this is for communication this is the clock pen connects to 2 you can change it if you wish between 2 to 13 and data in out you can connect it to 3 so this, this 2 you can change accordingly if you wish otherwise it will just work this is the delay between each reading that's why it blinks so we give some time the display and also the um, temperature sensor to read and then we pass these two values here with this uh, constructor which creates an object display and then from the these are all comments doesn't matter from here to here this is start of DHT code this is end of DHT code so this library also the link will be provided once you include it it will be this will just work so DHT pen this is the pen that you're connecting your um, so this is the DHT pen where you connect your the middle pen of the temperature sensor and this this line DHT11 if you are using DHT11 uncomment this meaning this is comment so now this is DHT11 will be used if you are using DHT22 comment this like that so that is commented which means the system will ignore it and remove the comment so when you put this comment as if this line doesn't exist so it will be removed from the execution and after that we have defined relay pen 7 so just put pen 7 or whichever pen that you wish from 3 to uh, 13 of course the pen that is not used by anything else and then and then the setup starts from here to here we just initialize this serial monitor which I'm going to show you next it shows the display on the serial monitor and then it just prints the text and it sends relay as an output it sets the relay as an output and DHT begin it begins the reading of temperature from here the loop method has starts from here and it goes up to here now this is this is just the waiting time and then start of the code of TM167 end so these three lines that I have quickly to explain it's a, it this is for brightness setting the brightness these are the value to clear the screen from previous value these are the values and this line is sending this value so clear the screen and then this is if you need to read the temperature in Celsius you just say get temp and then see inside this double quotation it's very important to use double quote so this will be the value like 10 degrees whatever and then we print it on the screen and then we do the same thing we got the temperature we round it because the display does not show the decimal point so the result of a rounded value will be stored in temp and temp is now passing it to show on the screen and then here is a false don't worry about it it shows if we want to have zeros on the left side and then this three means three digits so if you're dealing only with two digits so you can change it to two and here I put the temperature if temp if this temp is bigger than 50 then relay low this relay module that we have will be turned on when the input is low so otherwise else which means else if temperature is not bigger uh, larger than 50 it should send the relay 
the input high. If your relay is different, then change this. Make this high and make this low. It will just work. Now, get temp is a method that I've written it to make a reading temperature simple here. So if you need the temperatures in Celsius, just type C, put C, and then get temp HIC, hum humidity, heat index, sorry, in Celsius. And then this is F mean Fahrenheit, heat index in Fahrenheit, and H mean humidity. So the one that I use here, it will be using those values. And here, it's the explanation of this method. So you don't have to touch it, it just works fine. I have explained this in my separate video. Was how to use the DHT11 or 22 with a relay to turn on and off uh, an AC load and also having a display. Thank you for watching. Please thumb up the video, please share it, and also subscribe.